Facebook Advanced Plus shopping campaign. And this is a new campaign that Facebook has actually introduced to battle the iOS 14 updates. And spoiler alert, it's actually working great. So I'm gonna go in this video, if you give me like five minutes, I'm gonna go exactly how I set it up, how, what results I've seen, how it is, the best way to approach it, what's the best way really to use it, when to use it, if it's actually applicable for your business, and some of the things behind it. Now, to be clear, this is a new campaign that Facebook has actually introduced. If you run any Google Ads, it's very similar to Performance Max. It basically does the targeting for you and it consolidates all the Power 5, the old Power 5. So basically like dynamic query testing, like CBO, all this stuff. It just it just has an advantage. Before that, if you see like, you know, CBO is advantage campaign and budget and stuff. This new campaign, it does a few different things here. If you go and click create, if you go and click create here, of course, you will have the six now consolidated advertising objectives. If you click sales and you go continue, you're gonna have two options. If you can't see the advanced plus shopping campaign, I think it's still rolling out. It should be right now in most of the accounts, to be honest. But if you not, know, just check it out like every day. If you have a Facebook reps, contact them, and we might be able to get you access, but you should have it by now because it's. I think it's better for over a year now, but it's actually working very, very well, guys. So to be clear, here it says, you know, streamline, tailor best practices, uh, you know, maximize performance, find new customers, preset settings, to automatic placements, lowest cost, pre and more. So the, in this campaign, basically, so what is actually advanced shopping campaign, as you said here, uh, to be clear, just a new campaign that it pretty much does the targeting for you, as I said, and you just throw to that machine and to that campaign ads basically you can have up to 150 active ads which is crazy we were never you know able to do that before you only all though have one targeting you can't target interest tax or lookalike tax or anything kind of targeting it just broad it just broad and it actually does the targeting for you so let me so let me actually go and i'll have you can set it up exactly how i set it up and everything behind it to be clear before actually jumping in they have seen the best results use it as a supplementary a, a campaign alongside your testing or scaling campaign on the other campaigns that you have on the account it works great as a supplementary especially when scaling it really really maximizes efficiency you reach new audiences and really leverage the machine learning that you know Facebook is pretty good at that to really find new customers and that using their approach so basically using all their recommended best practices and to be clear it's actually working very good it's one of the things that Facebook has actually done in the last few months or years that's really really make a significant um, you know impact in that account and, and uh, of course as I said as you scale uh, I've seen great results by having that and maintaining great great efficiency let's actually dive in how you can use it for your business so if you click continue here you basically have a very similar setup like the ones you have on the standard sales campaign yes here you can have your name categories of course if you uh, in any specific categories and then of course have the website the pixels up here you have your latest location pretty, pretty basic stuff now the good thing here is that we actually have reporting and on this breakdown so you you can actually do targeting in this campaign and then you can actually set up the cap I don't have it here because I don't have it set it up in my settings, but I throw a screenshot here so you can have a cap or basically the percentage that should go of that spend existing customers and then you 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 can all you can only target you know existing customer list or existing purchases and stuff. So not that middle funnel audiences, but it's actually great because you can have then a breakdown by the results between your existing customers and versus your new customers. So you can see the different resonance in terms of creative and especially in, 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 and actually in general in terms of performance. So you can throw that in, then the budget, just have it whatever if it's comfortable. I suggest starting although with, uh, you know, pretty conservative budgets, but taking the consideration that I, I recommend and I've seen the best results with at least 10 active ads inside of this. So I, I will have like around 10x my AOV or around that. So I will be around like at least hundred dollars just to give it room and spend in with all of the ads. Of course, you can test that at lower budgets, but it's just the recommended thing that was just. What are actually attribution settings works the best? And uh, there's really no one, one size fits all here. I like to have in general on the Facebook ads, seven day click, one day view to give the algorithm as much data, as much as much data as possible. But to be clear, of course, if you're, if you're, if you're leveraging much larger budgets or if you have some winning, winning credit, you can throw in some one day click. Another thing that I would actually recommend you take a look at is if you have the seven day click or the one day view, just take a look how many of these conversions are uh, view conversions. And if that gets, you know, above like 20, 30%, 
you might have to go with the seven day click it's just to keep things um, you know more accurate in a sense but of course you're gonna get less data in that account so i would recommend maybe the clicks just as a, as a, as a actual general consensus once you do have some scale in the account uh, you might have to use seven day click so to be clear i'm just gonna use seven day click or one day view and then you have a suggest parties of course uh, it actually tracks it actually scans all your ads in the ad account and sees what has been working the best so you can just quickly import them so the basic thing here is the very important thing is that you can actually have a lot of different style of creatives and i recommend having at least one um, in those 10 active ads that i recommend so for example you can have a dba you can have a carousel you can have dab out uh, you can have some gifs videos statics everything just uses all these ads don't have like very small iterations so you can have your so don't have like the same creative different um, copy make sure you have um, completely different tests like different formats of uh, creatives not just small iterations because uh, Facebook you can find the best possible audience for each creative and stuff so to be clear that's pretty much it in terms of setup it's not that complicated due to the simplicity and leverage, leveraging the machine learning just make sure you have at least 10 active ads in, in uh, inside that don't have more than I would say 20% on your marketing audience, but of course you can see that for your business. I just seen the best results with a 70, 30, 80, 20 split in terms of prospecting, care, and retargeting. So in general, we've, I've seen great stability. I've seen better stability, lower cost because you leverage actually the broader audience. Now in general, I've seen across accounts, the broader audience is the most scalable and consistent audience for most businesses. I still find, big disclaimer, I still find good efficiencies um, testing intro stacks and look like stacks not this jazz but it brought audience is consistently the best audience uh, it gives you a leverage and it gives you know room for facebook to actually do its job in general some a big misconception here that i really want to drive home is it's not audience actually does the targeting it's creative that does the targeting so if you constrict a lot of the audiences you don't help the machine learning and the whole philosophy behind the algorithm of facebook will really find the best audience for you and really find the best people for you so if you really restrict that and you really have uh, you know very small audiences and very interest tags and stuff you restrict that uh, because as i said the creative does the whole targeting so I, or in general i've seen better efficiency across accounts using the advanced plus more stability cheaper cost very very good so make sure you actually use that as i said and you're not using it as a standalone and if you follow these quick tips here i think you should kill it you should keep really kill it of course i'm gonna have like a whole video if you want to see that how optimize after that because of course it's a very low maintenance campaign you're just gonna you know click off and uh, turn off sorry ads and just replace them and you introduce more ads since you can do a lot of things with that but in general if you want to see me video you know analyzing the data and behind it and what i see and how i make my interpretations make sure you actually let me know and that's pretty much it thanks a lot for watching if you want direct help from me have a look in the description and see all the links and have a great day guys